Okay, mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jelly. So, we've got a new week, which means a bunch of things have happened. Always a bunch of things have happened. Um, first off, let me fix that, what I've just noticed. Okay. So, this week, lots of things have happened over the weekend. Over the weekend is normally when I try and update mods and see where things are and what's changed. And we've updated a bunch of mods. So... Mod changes. Uh, the seismic towers, which were so close to being removed. Um, Wodzu? Wod, Wod, w O D U Z. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, let's go with Wodzu. Wodzu, which is so pronounced wrong, but okay. Um, he's actually updated the worm attack mod again. And two important things. One, he's found out it's completely multiplayer safe, which means you can probably see it coming in a future community map. On top of that, um, he's actually changed the way they work. So rather than having a damage radius of 80, um, actually, there we go. So the, descri the descriptions have even been changed. So it kills everything within 80 tail range and it, uh, it only damages structures within 30 tiles. And it says 30 damage, but I think that's even been lowered down to 10 damage. Um, because he saw how much damage it was doing in my base and the ridiculous problem I had with um, robots going back and forth just trying to keep everything repaired. So that was one thing that's changed. Um, biters, good old biters. Uh, there's definitely a biter attack somewhere. Nope. Well, there we go. That tower just went off and... No, there's still damage for 30 hit points. There you go. So it is still 30 hit points. 30 hit points is reasonable. Maybe it'll be get, become 10 in the future. Either way. Um, up here we have a category 6. Oh, he has actually said when 18 comes out and they get he gets access to the new particle effects. It's probably not going to have damage anymore at all. It'll just have a graphic that'll go off. That'll do the, 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 the representation of the attack. Um, so that's something else as well. So um, our... Biters, they were capped at, I think it capped out at level 8 biters. Um, the mod got an update. We now cap out at level 20, I want to say. So, more bigger, nastier biters. Uh, uh, oh, that's another change I had to do. So, if you remember over here... Um, We'd processed up like boxes and boxes and boxes of um, the chitin material. Chitin? That's so wrong. Chitin. Chitin material. Boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. And we're still killing biters all over the base continuously. And doing a really, really good job of decimating biters and processing their guts. And as you can see, this belt has been... It's not quite kept full, but it's kept fairly full, fairly consistently. Um, if we go up to the great sorting area, you can see this belt is generally kept pretty damn full. Um, it's got problems to do with this, which I'm going to go fix um, as we go through this intro. But yeah, it's it's we're keeping the biter gut belt fairly busy. But we've still processed all this basically because our shields are so expensive. So if we come into here and we look at a single tank shield. Uh, no, because I turn it off. So I've actually gone into the mod settings and I've removed the needing of um, chitin for shields. It's still needed for armor because I figured that was like at least reasonable because I do need some armor to make some trains. But I no longer need it for shields, just because I think... <sighs> I think the Vehicle Energy Shield Mark II needed like 15,000. I think it was actually 15,000 for that level. And then this level needed something even more ridiculous on top. We needed a lot of the stuff. So, that's been another change. Uh... Pickup towers, our lovely little pickup towers. So our pickup towers here have a range of 64 and a pickup interval of 60 seconds. And if we go into here, we can see our itty bitty pickup towers have a pickup range of 32 and a pickup interval of 30 seconds. So it's half as much and they scan twice as often. We now have access, because literally it was a mod setting that I could turn on or off, to the next one at 96 uh, pickup range, 
which I don't really care about. I really care about the big one at 128 range and a pickup interval interval of 240 seconds. So these guys do a massive pickup range, but they don't scan very often. Um, so we want these. Um, I want these just to put down not that often. I actually want to probably change a lot of these tier twos down to tier one at like these hot spots, um, just so they clear more often and then put down some tier fours up and down the belt to sort of clear out some of this stuff out here and just do a general sweep of whatever I miss. Um, so that's the next plan. Um, what else? Factorio Extended had an update. So Factorio Extended. Uh, maybe it's been shoved in transport. Hang on. Nope, there we go. I haven't even researched it yet. So Factorio Extended got updated with its own version of bigger and better tanks. I don't actually know if I can craft that because I don't know if I can craft a tank. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can craft a tank because I think vanilla tanks have been turned off. Um, but yeah, there's also a bigger and better car which actually comes with a rocket launcher which was something that it turns out long roundabout method. One of the using my Discord... Bilbo? I hope it was Bilbo. I'm pretty sure it was Bilbo. Yes! Uh, Bilbo actually pestered Jimmy John, the mod author, to add the level 2 cars and tanks. And if you remember back to... If you've been playing Factorio for long enough, before the version 17 came out, when 16 was still running, the Friday Facts had lots of information about what was coming with 17. And one of the things that I actually had one of the Factorio devs go, that's a great idea to, was the thought of adding a rocket launcher to the car, because the car was pretty crap combat-wise. Um, the tank was awesome. It's had a nerf, but, you know, the car was pretty crap. And a rocket launcher would make it way more powerful. So we actually modded that into our version of... 17 when we we're still playing on the 16 engine so we had a lot of the updates before 17 actually came out and yes um jimmy john actually has added that into factory extended so now you can make a level two car which has a rocket launcher which means now you can drive around with nukes which is probably going to be bad and we're probably going to do it um we are probably this week we're probably this week going to get hold of this uranium because this one's disappearing slowly. Um, this is 1.4 million what's left. This over here is just 1 million. You guys are definitely surviving. Good. Um, but it's our next uranium patch. We haven't really been gifted with uranium, so I'm going to go grab it soon. But at the same time, I think I need to set up a farm. No, a farm. A zoo. A zoo. So I think we're going to actually in case this section of biters here hopefully this lake continues around and i can wall it off on both sides uh, basically because this is close enough to absorb lots of pollution and hopefully we can encase it so biters spawn pretty much non-stop and we're just gonna have a really really fortified wall with as much fire and lasers as i can throw at the problem and we're going to use that to farm goo um Speaking of goo, so one of the problems with our sorting system, where is it, is the things are coming up here and then they're slowing down to blue speed after they go through the splitter, splitter, which is pretty okay, but then they're actually slowing down to red speed going into the loader, which is not acceptable. So we're going to upgrade all of that to start with. Uh... Yep. Then I'm going to upgrade... Oh, hang on. All of... That to green belt. Oh, there's the bots again. Uh, green belt, purple belt. Yeah. So we're going to upgrade all of those to the next faster speed. The next thing we're going to do is... A, a couple of you were nice enough to pop by my Discord and tell me that yes there is actually a mod that integrates the next couple of levels of um 
belt boxy sorty things. Where do we make those? Uh, there, there. Hang on, you probably need lube. Uh, do I have access to the next ones yet? I do. Which needs lube, and it needs lube. Yeah. So, yeah, a couple of you were nice enough to tell me, hey, Jedi, there is actually a mod, because um, I was willing to bet there was, that lets you do green loaders and purple loaders. So we're going to make some green loaders and some purple loaders. I'm really hoping I don't need a lot of these, because I have a feeling they're going to be fairly expensive. Uh... We're just going to copy, paste, right click, copy, left click, paste, just cap it to one. One's hopefully enough. Uh, and we're just going to bring in gears via bots. I just don't care. Okay, so that's that problem sorted. Uh, next problem is we're just going to swipe upgrade planner over all of these and get them up to the next level. Uh, oh, also means... That can finally go away. Uh, I don't need that, don't need that, don't need that anymore. Uh, no, I do want that one. It's that one I don't want. Okay, so that's done. Uh, they'll get upgraded after those get built. And then, actually, I probably should set these up to run off the network. Uh, 50, copy, paste, paste, set you to be the blue ones, and set you to be the purple ones. That'll just keep 50 in the logic network. Okay, so research. Um, oh, uh, the other thing that was added was personal laser defense mark two. So that was also added in factor extended. For some reason, I got the research when updating the mod but it's not here under factory extended and it's not here under vanilla so if you ever get this problem and i'm going to show you how to fix it um you will lose any like achievement progress but you're running mods anyway so you've got no achievements to start with you pop into edit mode, edit editor mode um you hit t to go to the tech tree and then i want person personal and then i want to unresearch that research and t to close research uh editor to go back to in game and if i bring up my tech tree it's there and i can research it again i could have in editor mode just click i think shift and click on start research and that'll automatically re-research it for me for free and fix that problem i've had to do that a couple of times in in this mod pack um so yeah, you know, it is a potentially a quick fix. But for today, what I want is I want shield strength. Um, our, of course, there's no biters when I want one. So our biters are decimating the base. Um, oh, hopefully one of you guys will come in and just get off one spit. Nobody. <sighs> You mean to do a live demonstration? One spit. Oh, uh, close enough. Um, so basically when we get a proper attack, we're taking enough damage to... Well, there we go. Uh, our flamethrowers, the shields are down um, with a direct spit. And like they've got 1,400 hit points. I have no idea how much their shields are. I'm willing to bet it's in ratio to, you know, what, what their hit points are. So we're going to get more shield strength, uh, which is only 500 research, 1,000 research, 1,500 research. And then we're going to go recharge rate. And I'm going to do that three times as well. And then we'll get some personal laser defense too. So that's our research started. Don't have to worry about research for hopefully a little while. Uh, meanwhile, bots are still concreting the world. Um, turns out we're actually held up by uh, these things. The assembly machines and the furnaces. And the good news is we know now how to fix that. If I do that, that'll make them 50% faster. And we did have... 
Although I think I got rid of it. Yeah, we did have an iron belt that was coming through here, but I think it's gone. Yeah, it came off the make everything. It was going and taking iron up there to make green ammo. Uh, green ammo is now down here. Uh, speaking of green ammo, we are now no longer looping green ammo all the way out to this wall. This wall has been changed over, upgraded, improved, uh, basically changed over to the flamethrower only option. Um, and hang on, that ammo goes all the way up there, across there, goes around here because we had so many problems with worms, and then merges back in there. Which means... that belt can go. Yes, that belt can go. Uh, that belt can go, and that belt can go. There's a lot of tidying up that still needs to be done. Uh, oh, no, I need to take... Because they were put on there to do that other wall. Uh, those flamers and those lasers can go. Yeah, a little bit of tidying up. Okay, so. Progress has been made. Now, I have not unlocked that tier of assembler. Which is the one I'd really, really like. But it needs speed 2 modules, which I don't have. Because we just don't have enough circuit production. Now, we did fix green circuit production last episode. And it's flying through the base and joining into here. Which technically means I've freed up these two belts of green circuits here. I could use these three belts to make... I got two options. I can use these three belts of green circuits to make more reds and make more blues. Or... I could just take these two lanes and splice them off and do another red circuit build like this to hopefully give us some more red circuits. But I do really, we're really at the point of we need something that actually takes prod mods and speed mods. Because um, everything we've had so far is using prod mods but not speeds. So I think what we're going to do is run down this corner... And then, actually, if I disconnect this end first, that seems like a much smarter thing to do. And then hopefully it can drain. <sighs> okay. All right, so first thing is we need a build. We need a build that is going to use modules. Um, I have... Where are my modules? There. I have... 50 speed twos, uh, but if I copy that chest to there to there, that should uncap it. So I got 50 speed twos. I'm making speed twos not exactly quickly. Uh, actually, we might even do that and that. Yeah. So I'm gonna work on like speed twos for the beacons and probably prod ones. Because I'm not making prod 2s and I am making prod 3s. But prod 3s th are going to end up getting chewed up into something like blue circuits. Um, just because they just use so much. Um, so yeah. We will need copper cable. We will need uh, red circuits themselves. Uh, now i got to work out how to get from A to B to C to D. And try to keep some sort of uh, some beacon coverage. Okay, I want. Where do I have beacons? I had beacons around oil, actually. That's what I want. Okay, right, let's start here. We'll lay out our beacons. And we'll lay out our beacons. Now, the biggest problem you have when you have beacons and... Beacons and assemblers is... The most efficient way to do do beacon builds is to have beacons on one side, beacons on the other. And then I could copy this build and paste it beside one another over and over and over. And overlap my beacons. Which is a great saving on beacons and power and... Basically makes everything a, a lot more efficient. A lot, a lot more efficient. Uh, the catch is, at the same time, it means you've only got two tiles. 
And you're going to want to use one of those for an inserter. So it makes builds very tight. Um, like I've got to get three materials into this and one material out, which leads to some interesting spaghetti more often than not. Uh, so after you guys have all got your modules, let's just run in the power poles so things stop flashing at me. Okay. So we want normal ratio. Normal ratio is one to eight. I think I can go one to nine. I could, I'd be at a slight deficit. But if I speed you up just a little bit more, I should probably have beacons on me as well. Uh, that's another seismic tower going off. It's way less damage. Uh, now, I also think that... Hang on. Let's try and slow this all the way down. 3,000 hit points. That's what I want. A category 5... My category, no, okay. I was gonna say, I think the biter's got a slight nerf when we added more tears, but uh, nope, I would say nope. Maybe they're slightly less resistant to flames. Uh, oh, actually, I think that's something else I did do. I went to the mod options and can I see a ceramic biter? Uh, yeah, I, I changed the ceramic biter and the mirror biter to rather being 100% effective to being 90% effective. And honestly, the, 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 the DPS is nothing. It's not going to make an ounce of a difference when it comes to actually fighting them off. But it means that, especially in this top corner, where we had like one biter just standing there, being hit by either laser or flame and just not dying it at least means they're going to take just a little bit of damage over time and it means eventually that laser tower won't sit there costing us ups constantly just firing on one biter that never seems to die um that's all the change was uh let's upgrade those i like green walls green walls are way better uh that's a lot of goop on that but oh that's still fast belt yeah, it's keeping up. Um, okay, so beacon has arrived. Max rate calculator. There to there. Yes, we now have overproduction. So it needs, I need a little bit of extra beacon power up here, which should be fine. Um, because we have loaders. How much do you want? You want 12. So really a yellow loader would be more than enough for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I can use loaders. That makes life so much easier. So if we have you output like that onto a belt, power poles go away. So you're going to bring copper in, put cable out, which will go straight into this belt. And then from there, I can then use inserters, same as what I have. What, what we have been doing uh, along here to you put copper cable on, take the cable in and put the red circuits out onto the same belt. So I can basically do the exact same thing as we've been doing uh, all the way down this side. Okay, put that power pump back so things stop flashing at me. And sure, you can have power too. Okay. This side is going to need green circuits and plastic still. So that should be much the same as what we've got already. Which actually, once again, we should be able to do something crazy like that. And that'll just, like, rather than having two balances smashing into one another, like I... Oh, actually, I haven't done that. This oh, no, I did. Uh, this red circuit build that's since been deleted. Um, but same as you do for a smelter, you just do two, two balances, smash them straight into one another, which will give you two half belts. And I would take normally plastic, uh, plastic and green circuits from 
one side around to the next build and then have this run this build but because we have loaders we can do it with loaders one two three one two three You're gonna want power. That beacon and that beacon don't actually do anything. So, is that a build? That is a build. Done. All right. First things first. Put that way closer up there. Uh, you're gonna need copper in. That belt's end, and then same as everywhere else, we'll do cables on the left hand side, red circuits will be on the right hand side, so that'll give us red circuits out. Okay, so we want to get rid of that, and get rid of that, and get rid of all of that yeah it's gonna leave holes in the ghost blueprint of my concrete but we'll fix that up later uh, when I go reconcrete the world for a second time uh, okay green circuit build one half of the build is using 48 but you have overproduction so one half of the build is using 48 copper the belt oh no the belt only outputs 30. that's why we got two belts okay and this red circuit build does how much copper uh only 16. so technically Oh, that is one belt running the right-hand side and one belt running the left-hand side. Uh, I don't really have spare copper. Technically, I've got half a belt on each of these builds. Okay. You go away, you go away. Alright, what we're going to do is going to stamp... The first one there, and the second one beside it. This is how we'll, oh, do I want them? No, I don't want them there. I want them there. So we have plastic, which is here, which we're going to have to speed up. Because uh, I'm going to need to get a, another belt out of this build and bring it down here. Uh, I'm going to have to take excess copper cable off the end of these two belts to feed them into these green cir uh, red circuits, red circuit builds. Uh, and then I don't know. No, I honestly don't know from there. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's start doing that. We want to cut that. I'm going to leave that there in case more odd things come through. Hopefully you'll sort it out before it gets contaminated elsewhere. <sighs> okay, that's the answer for that. Okay, so it's copper cable done. Uh, actually, if I do that, it means you're ready to expand should we ever get to the next one. Uh, you failed. Try it. Oh! Yes, yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, come on, autosave. Yeah, I, I can't do it with a loader. It needs to be just a belt. It's just a belt. Which probably means my smash together method's probably better off. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, 
smash together method I was talking about earlier. We do that for that one. And we run that one to there for that one. And it just means I need to get plastic and run it in here. Which should be easy, he says. Uh, put a splitter there. That sounds bad. No, it's bots sitting in fire. As they do. Uh, okay. So, that's not going to be enough on the belt. Not even close. But, I needed this rebuilt so we could run max rate calculator. Because I forgot all the numbers. So, we're using a yellow belt in, a yellow belt out for... Yeah, not a lot. But, it's better than nothing. Uh... Okay. So, uh, I want a splitter in there. I want to cut that. Uh, nope. Down a tile. There to there to there. Hook that up. Okay, so that's our copper done. That's our... We're producing, we're producing. Okay, so let's go fix plastic. Plastic is... Next tier of chem plants, please. Uh, definitely blue belt. Actually need to go up to green belt because I'm going to need two full red belts out of this system. It's actually oh no, it's still throughput limited. Uh, can we deliver this place? Uh, actually. Upgrade that. Uh, 60 items per second. I need this upgraded because this is our choke point currently, or our bottleneck. Uh, come on, robots. doesn't really help looking at map view, looking for that one robot that's flying across, because um, with us concreting the world, there's robots flying everywhere at all times. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, that looks like it's running at full speed. It's backed up, because i got no draw on the red circuits anyway. But... So that's like not quite a red belt in. And then of course if I put better prod mods in there, I'll get I'll use less resources per second. I'll also get less out per second, but I'll stretch my resources further and then I can put down more builds. That's what it really comes down to. Uh, or I can add speed modules and make it go faster that way. Okay, so That gives me a few more red circuits. Now, honestly, I can just dump them onto this build. Because this build is definitely not belt limited. It just saves me running a second belt all the way back to there. Okay, so now that I've done that, we've boosted production. We have a module build that I can copy and paste across. Uh, more importantly, it's, and, and actually, let's go look at that. So, this build takes in a red belt of each, almost, almost. Like, let's go with 25. 25 of each for 15 out, okay? 
This build, in its in gi giant, giant length, um, I won't do the last couple of assemblies just so I don't get that can play it, takes in, uh, let's try from there down. Let's try from there down. Hey, 25 in each for the same amount out. And that was, we're talking a build that goes from here to here to a build that's just this big. For almost the same amount of resources in and out. Well, because they've got the same product productivity, they are the same amount of resources in and out. We're just talking speed modules meant I can shrink a build from like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eight. Eight of these. So this build runs at the speed of four of these. That's the difference. That's what speed modules do. Uh, so productivity modules are really, really handy. Let you stretch your resources further. Uh, but combine that with speed modules to make your... Ooh, okay. We've stopped making speed module ones. Uh, turns out they got delivered from the south and when I cut those belts you guys stop getting the parts you needed for speed modules as long as I found out before everything broke that's all that matters uh, you can go away. No. Uh, you can go away. I guess you can stay. I want this belt gone. Uh, with a belt, with a bleh, with a base as messy as this, you have to clean up your spaghetti as you go. Uh, okay, done. All right. I'm really tempted to just dump down a couple more of these builds. And that way we can start retiring this. Uh, what? Electricity problems? Ah, damn. Uh, copy that, including tiles, please. Thank you. Paste it right there. Uh, it's already preheated. Um, because I put fuel in it earlier and forgot about it. Uh, yeah, it probably would help if the concrete was not quite there. That's better. And then at the same time, I want to copy... So I want to copy from there to there. And put down the next build which won't have the tiles built into it so it's uh, actually no I probably want the water put down yeah at least the water put down I don't want to hook up uh, the pumps to it not yet at least So, where were we? All right, more red circuits. More red circuits, which has led to more speed module. Well, has fixed our speed module one because I replaced that belt. But I'm going to upgrade you guys to the next level of assembler. Uh, I'm doing prod mod ones down here. Same story. I'm going to upgrade them to the next level of assembler because we should have a box full of those. We do. So I just need red circuits and blue circuits en masse to do uh, speed twos and twos, threes uh, of both speed. Oh, and I, I need to do efficiency modules. I hate efficiency modules. And what is broken here? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Uh, uncap that chest. Or we start making uranium ammo. It's not a bad idea. Uh, 
44 plus 48 compared to... Six plus twelve, eight, eight, ten plus. Oh, actually, it's got like multiple. Okay, so six, uh, eighteen, twenty-four. So it's twenty-four plus. Forty-eight. Twenty-four plus forty-eight compared to exactly the same. Okay, do we actually have any spare red ammo? Because I think. I think that was a bottleneck, wasn't it? I think as fast as we're making it, we're using it. I don't want to upgrade it because I don't want to put more draw on our steel because we don't really have more iron caption. Correct. Okay. We'll just make more miners for now. Because uh, those I will use eventually. Alright, back to module problems. Uh, blank bit of base. Blank bit of base. I'm here. I want module production. Actually, right there is not a bad spot. Okay, so I want your priority down there, your priority down there, then we have these guys. Your priority, an even split. Uh, and then your priority up to feed that, and then whatever's left over goes to blue circuit. So I want a priority you right. Ah, uh, that's yellow belt, it turns out. There's going to be some decisive use of upgrade planner in the future. Uh, so I want... I just want two belts, actually. It's just going to be easy to do it with two separate belts. Uh, you're in my way. Uh, don't get me wrong. I do want to hold on to you. You're actually doing doing great, but um, you're just in my way. Uh, okay, so then we're going to run two belts. Talk about threading the needle. Okay. And after we get up here. Okay, so I want. So the ratios are for speed threes, which I assume I have unlocked. Yep. And for actually all, all module threes, it's two and a half of the. Because you need five. Speed module twos or five prod mod twos. It's two and a half of these mach of, of a level two machine to one level three machine. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. And it turns out that's still running in the background. I apologize. Uh, I do wish to thank whoever it was that just clicked the subscribe button on YouTube. I'm actually running a test, which I forgot to turn the audio off for. Hopefully that fixes it. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to... Yeah, I want to do two and a half of these machines for one of those machines. So we're going to take our tier three machines, tier four machines. Uh, and I'm going to do five. And then I do one. Except we're going to do ten, I think. I don't know whether I can run ten. And then two. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And... I want to mix these builds anyway. Uh, no, underground there to there. That. Yeah, that's it. Alright, run that to there, run that to there, 
and we'll bring that out. We're gonna do speed twos to speed through copy paste. Thank you. Uh, we can just run that belt straight up. We can use slow inserters because these are gonna take like 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I only need five of each, so not exactly lightning fast. Uh, you can get power from right there conveniently. Uh, three, six, nine. Uh, you, nope, wrong recipe. That recipe. Which needs the same exact same base ingredients, except now it needs the speed module twos, which we're just going to output there, 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 input, input. Uh. Oh, and you need speed module ones, of course. Oh, I apologize. I forgot. Uh, like that. Because uh, we have an alright build elsewhere. And we're just going to bring them in via candy dandy little robots. Uh, let's go with 100. It's so overkill. I don't need that many, but... We'll put in that many to get them at least the primary delivery done. Um, okay, and then you guys need to output. We're going to... Do that. And then with all of that done... Really, really wish I planned this better, but you know. Because, uh, yeah, I could have used this belt uh, for both builds. Uh, we're going to change you guys over. You're going to do prod twos. To prod threes. Uh, same story, we're going to bring in a hundred of them. And that'll get that build running. Yep. And then the last build that we're going to want is going to be. Uh, it's. No. No. Oh, the last build's efficiency modules, which needs red and greens. For t the tier one modules, and then red and blue for... Well, let's just go do the red and blue. Less than the end of it's done. Uh, so I want... One... I don't even want five. I want... I think I just want two machines, honestly. And what we'll do is we'll go out for pretty right. No, output priority right would kill me. Um, okay, there and there. We'll just split that even. Uh, efficiency ones. There, there, there. I don't think I need the next tier. And uh, you know what? We're going to make one power pole next level because that'll just do everything in one hit. Okay. Is that important things under attack? 
Oh, that's the seismic towers. So no, it's not an important thing that I attack. Okay. Uh, blue circuit build definitely needs to be revamped, but that's probably going to happen in the next episode, along with trying to work out where the hell we're going to make efficiency module once. It's probably going to be right here, to be honest. But we'll work that out in the next episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Longer episodes are always better episodes, especially at the start of the week. Um, gets you over your Monday itis and everything else. Anyway. I'll leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. See you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.